In our last lesson, we looked at physical properties of matter, which are characteristics of substances that we can observe without having to have a chemical reaction or without having to alter a substance, change it into a new substance. Today, on the other hand, we're going to be looking at chemical properties of matter, which are properties or characteristics that can only be observed either during a chemical change or as the result of the chemical change. Any time a chemical change takes place, we're basically changing a substance into a new substance. For instance, when iron sits out in the rain and forms rust, that's actually a process called oxidation that is bonding the iron atoms with oxygen from the air to create what's called iron oxide. So we can observe oxidation only through the formation of a new substance, through a chemical change to the iron. Examples of some of these chemical properties include things like flammability. We can test whether something's flammable by burning it, but in that process, it's going to be altered. It's going to result in the formation of a new substance. Toxicity, heat of combustion, oxidation, as we talked about, combining with oxygen, chemical stability, or pH, which, which tells us if a substance is an acid or a base. We can test that, and we can see its reaction with other substances. In our lessons to come, we're actually going to be looking at changes in matter, how matter can change both through physical changes and through these chemical reactions resulting in chemical changes.